All right, so this is the third video for the Lamborghini marketing team. And in this video, we're gonna talk about uh, product strategies and how we're gonna create and communicate the value of Lamborghini. Step one is the product strategy. And uh, the first part of that is developing product objectives. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use an upward stretch uh, method of extending the product line. So we're gonna try and stretch it upwards to, by adding uh, high end or premium brand stuff that uh, contains more features or is of higher quality. So um, our current product strategy is kind of consistent with that because what our idea was was to maybe release a new special edition of each model of car that uh, Lamborghini has annually and make this uh, edition more luxurious and more extreme than any other. Upper stretch is usually not associated with the current economic state and how it's like a recovery and recession but because as we described in our previous video our uh, consumers are going to be more uh, high income and have be very associated with their status symbols. So they have a lot of money to spend, so it isn't really gonna affect the demand for our product. And like was also discussed in our previous video based on our valves types that we talked about, um, they spend, our experiencers and innovators, they spend a lot of their income on entertainment and fashion. Okay, the second part of the product, uh, part of the mar marketing mix is uh, to develop design product strategies. So currently there's only two models of cars that Lamborghini offers, the Aventador and the Gallardo. Uh, and there's multiple versions of these cars that they offer as well, like super high performance, like the Super Legera or the LP670. And basically what we want to do is introduce a new limited edition that is sort of a luxury edition that is even more prestigious than any of the other Lamborghinis. And because our target market uh, values quality and their prestige image, uh, this is going to fit in perfectly with them and help us reposition our cars to kind of attract them more than anyone else. Um, <clears throat> now, based on the product life cycle, compared to a traditional product life cycle, we don't really fall into it uh, in the normal way because there's always a demand for our products. So the individual models of the Aventador and Gallardo are extremely uh, popular during the introduction phase. The sales of these two remain steady through the growth stage, and basically we want to introduce and implement these special luxury editions maybe annually to help uh, retain interest in these products and always stay in the mature stage so that we don't start declining in sales. These luxury models are going to keep us, uh, keep the prestigious people coming back and buying them. So next we move on to the pricing strategies part. So first of all we have to set a pricing objective and what we're going to do is we want to set a higher price that's going to represent our product and how uh, prestigious it is. It's a, it's a cut above everything else because it's so luxurious and extreme. Um, when we estimate demand, basically it's kind of an inelastic demand, so it's easy to uh, predict that because it doesn't fluctuate that much with changes in the price of the product. And as an example, uh, during the 2008 recession, Lamborghini did not experience a decrease in their sales, they actually sold more cars compared to 2007. Our costs are going to stay relatively the same, uh, and when we examine the pricing environment, we're not gonna, there's not much to worry about when it comes to the economy like I previously stated. Uh, government regulation and consumer behavior and trends aren't really affecting us. The main thing that's affecting us is our competition, which we have to worry about uh, <clears throat> in a pretty big way because they are taking our market share and we want to take that away from them. All right, next we have to choose a pricing strategy and what we decided on was the premium, price, premium pricing strategy, which is gonna portray the higher quality of Lamborghini to our consumers. Uh, this falls in also pres prestige pricing, which is a part of making these Lamborghini uh, models uh, appear as set status symbols where only the very rich and powerful are going to be able to own them. So the next step is about promotion strategies. Um, so first of all we have to identify the target audience which we've kind of done in our last uh, video and it's also based on our last step so it's about our target audience is going to be high income established professionals who are living in a high income kind of metropolitan area such as Vancouver. All right, next we have to determine and allocate the marketing communication budget. So first of all, we have to determine the total promotion budget and we're going to use the competitors as benchmarks of however much they're spending to promote their products. Basically, we want to match this or even outspend this. And this is achievable because of the small numbers of competitors that are in our industry. Next, we had to decide on a push or pull strategy and we decided the pull strategy and this is going to focus on the ultimate consumer requesting the product, especially due to the special luxury edition we're going to offer. Alright, next we have to design the promotion mix. So basically we're going to focus on high-end consumer magazines uh, that are targeted towards high income makers. We're going to try and take out like full page ads or even center centerfold ads. We're going to put product placements in movies and the entertainment industry and a prime example of this is the Batman trilogy because there's always a Lamborghini in there. 
and the message we want to communicate is going to be done through our brand image and this is going to create an attention and interest a desire and finally action by these pres prestigious high income individuals to purchase Lamborghini car. Alright, following this we have to evaluate the effectiveness of the communication program and we're going to uh, measure it using two metrics. Uh, there's the tangible and using that we're going to base it on sales volume to see if it increases and intangible, we're going to base it on based on brand image and the awareness of it uh, following this promotion strategy. Following promotion comes distribution. Um, so first of all, we have to develop our distribution objectives. So we only want to use distributors who are going to match the same high level of prestige as our brand image that Lamborghini portrays. So we're only going to use certified retailers and stores to sell Lamborghinis. Okay, next we have to choose the distribution strategy. So we're going to do two channel levels on the manufacturing and dealership level and they're both going to be short channels and using these limited channels will allow us to maintain control, exclusive ability, ability to present the product in our desired way and this is going to help us strengthen our brand image. Um, next is the level of distribution intensity we're going to use and we're going to use the exclusive distribution strategy which fits in with the pull strategy so people are going to want to come and buy our cars. Following that we have to develop distribution tactics. And basically we're going to have all three types of power when it comes to this because of our channel partners. Um, we're going to have economic, legitimate, and reward power. Alright, we've gone through the product, pricing, promotion, and distribution strategies that we're going to use. And this makes up the marketing mix that's going to allow us to effectively market Lamborghini.